but the grind doesn't stop. Welcome to it. We are just starting this vlog off so strong. I literally almost just set our house on fire. Today, that was insane. I've never had that happen. In hindsight, probably shouldn't have filled the washing machine so full. I was just washing one of our comforters on our bedding because Paula peed on it. And the washing machine did not like that. So it like got stuck and then part of it started burning like the, I think the rubber of the machine. I don't really know. Thank goodness I checked on it because if I didn't, the house probably, there probably would have been a fire eventually. I don't really know how it works, I guess. Um, but that was kind of terrifying. Opening up the laundry room and just smoke coming out. But crisis averted for now. I don't really know. I've unplugged it, I took the bedding out, and I'm just letting the whole house air out. Of course, immediately after I take the bedding out and everything, I'm trying to just get everything in line. Apollo starts throwing up. I don't know if it's because of the smell of the smoke or something, but he's just like throwing up and throwing up. I'm like, oh my gosh, this could not get any crazier. Um, but I think things are chill now. I opened up some of the windows in the house, trying to get it some... Sorry, the dog was playing. Trying to get some airflow, get all the smoke out of here. But yeah, that happened. <laughs> okay, now that's solved a little bit. I had to go put on a sweatshirt because it's freezing in here since I opened up all the windows to air out the smell. Um, that was a crazy morning. But yeah, today's April Fool's Day though, and I love April Fool's. It's like my favorite holiday. It all started in fourth grade when I put, honestly, I did, I did a lot of pranks. This is where it all started in elementary school. But fourth grade, I put a sticky note on the bottom of my teacher's mouse at school and she was like guys why isn't my mouse working like because she was older and so she didn't understand technology to begin with <laughs> and then i went and showed her i was like haha flip it upside down and on the nose it april fools from julia and she saw it was the funniest thing ever so i think my love for april fools they started then so i played a few pranks on keegan this morning i i rolled up a wet toilet paper roll to look like dog poop and set it on the bathroom floor so that when he woke up in the morning to go to work he was like oh my gosh but it ended up not turning out like it was supposed to it didn't really look like it so he just set the dog's Chewed something up and threw up. So I went and picked it up and he was like, oh! So that was funny. And then I put food dye under the bottom of the sink faucet. So when he turned it on, it's, it was all red watered. And he was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? And, and they, that one got him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, so, <laughs> you're so dumb. I kiss you. <laughs> Can I at least brush my teeth? Did I get my toothbrush? What was that? <laughs> Red food day. <laughs> So I just love doing funny little harmless actual pranks like that. Okay, it's like almost 5 p.m. on Monday. I have been chipping away at my to-do list. I've been kind of having just a very calm, chill day at home, working on my computer, not doing anything too crazy. Planned out my videos for the week and then did a lot of the computer work, like making selections for some collabs and stuff like that. You guys, my friend Kylie, she was supposed to come over, but now she's not, and look at this. <laughs> it's April Fool's Day, you know, so I was like, okay, she's going to, of course, sometime use the guest bathroom sometime being here throughout the day, right? I saran wrapped the toilet paper roll in here to get her, but now she's not coming. So now it's just a prank that I've pulled on myself because I'm the only one that uses the toilet paper in this bathroom. So. <laughs> right now I'm really debating between starting some of my seeds for all the spices that I want to plant. I have this little thing that I'm going to Start, we've got sage, oregano, arugula, thyme, cilantro, all these different spices that I want to start and have like a little cocktail herb garden this year. So eventually I need to start these. Or if I want to paint the closet doors, there's a few options of things we can do here right now. <laughs> I can't decide which. It's just such a gloomy day. It's really killed my vibe today. It's been just a very relaxing, chill evening. So I don't know. We're hosting a party on Saturday, which I'm gonna hopefully include in this vlog. Get it up the next day. So I wonder if I should wait until next week to start these so I don't have a bunch more plants around because I already have so many of my seeds started that are just around the house in front of windows. So maybe I should wait on that. All right, I'm in, oh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, I'm in the middle of making dinner right now. Seriously? Anyways, I'm in the middle of cooking dinner right now. I had started. We were trying to make spaghetti squash pasta, like pasta noodles out of the spaghetti squash, but I don't think that's spaghetti squash. So we pivoted, making some noodles right now, and I'm just watching YouTube while cooking, garlic bread's in there, and we're just vibing, having ourselves an evening. I've been watching 
Michelle Reed on YouTube. This is literally my first video of hers I've ever watched and I'm loving it. I love her vibes and everything. So I'm excited to keep watching some of her videos throughout the night. decided to prime these doors tonight so the primer is on. I decided to do it hanging up here because there's no space hidden by the track so why not make it easier and I'm not gonna paint the other side because it's in the inside of the closet anyways and there's sliding doors so you can't ever really see the back side. I think this will look really good and that's why I need to paint the um whatever you know what I'm talking about this part <laughs> um after these dry next so that'll probably be a tomorrow project so it's night time now and I kind of just want to relax. <laughs> Good morning! Sorry the light is so dark. It's so gloomy out today. This whole week, honestly, it's all raining and gross outside. But we're making the best of it. I'm so excited because today I'm getting my hair done. I think I'm going back to blonde. Not like full blonde, but a blonde balayage, so like highlights. I have loved the natural dark era, but um, I just feel like lately it's looked more red and the colors are all uneven and I think I just like myself better with the blonder hair so it was nice to be able to try the dark brown. I've said in a few of my videos, honestly probably like starting a few months ago about how I was questioning having this hair color and I wanted to dye it a few months ago and then I held off because I was like give it some more time but I think I'm ready, especially with spring and summer coming up. I just want to make the change. I don't know if I'll ever go back to being this dark ever again, so take a good look. I just feel like I've been, you know, trying to figure out what I like best in my hair over time, and I think I've found that I definitely like the blonde balayage vibes better. So, this is your last look. We are going to go, it's in Muncie, so I'm driving an hour and 10 minutes to go get my hair done, because I just really trust the girl that I go to down there. She's awesome. So I'll be driving down for that, and then I asked my friend Eliza if she was free, if she wanted to go get coffee or something maybe. And then I might, of course, swing through Buyer's Market, which is that big discount store that I always go to, and get everything for like 60 to 80% off. So I just want to see what they have. I'm not going to go crazy, because their gardening stuff has been popping off, and if I'm going to be buying anyways for my garden, I might as well get it at like 80% off. Yeah, I just made my coffee. We're going to stick my to-go lid on this. I'm gonna make the start of a TikTok transition for my hair while I'm here, and then we'll head out. Okay, guys, I got Duncan. I wanted to try the iced coffee with cream and vanilla and blueberry in real life from Duncan, not just trying to make it at home. So I thought we'd give it a shot together. Hmm. I like it. It's not my favorite thing I've ever had, but it's not bad. Then I also got a good donut because I need to eat something. So, okay, we have 15 minutes until my hair appointment. It's right over there. So I'm gonna drive over there and I don't even know what I'm gonna say to her. So I need to look up some inspiration of like what I've gotten done in the past so I can show those to her because I did not plan that out at all. I also don't know if I wanna get any cuts because in the past I usually have my hair like, like there, it's nice and would be helpful because right now it's like, can't even see it all in the frame. <laughs> Still can't even see it. It's the longest my hair has ever been. Like it's down to my butt on the back. Um, and honestly, I have been liking it because I can do so many hairstyles. So I don't know if I want to chop off a ton of length, but maybe like literally an inch or two, just so that the ends are healthier. Um, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Gosh, it's so dark and it almost like it looks brassy, which is what I have not been a fan of. So okay. Um, we need to look up some inspo and go over there and then I'll vlog a little while I'm there. Oh, I forgot. We went to Bath and Body Works and I got some more wall scents. They had the Bridgerton collection, so I literally just bought one of everything of the Bridgerton because it all smells so good. It's all so cute. Um, so that's what I got. And then I'll give you a TJ Maxx haul once we're done with the hair. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from and I wanted to give a little haul of everything that we got today. So starting off with Bath and Body Works, uh, they were doing a five for 25 
little deal on the wallflowers, which isn't the best deal I've had, but we're, since we're hosting people on Saturday, I always like to put fresh wallflowers in before the party because it makes the house smell really good. So I got all of the Bridgerton scents because I just love the branding. <laughs> so I have the Danbury shirt, shortbread, the Queen Charlotte's tea, the Bridgerton study that I'm gonna put in Keegan's office. Wisteria Garden, this one smells so good. And then the diamond of the season. And then as I was in checkout, I saw that they had lip gloss in champagne toast. And if you guys know, champagne toast is like my favorite Bath and Body Works scent of all time. So when I saw they had a lip gloss, I did have to throw it into my bag, even though it was nine dollars for a lip gloss. Oh, oh, that smells so good. I will admit, it feels weird having it on my lips since I always smell it on like perfumes or candles, but hey, I like it, I'm digging it. <laughs> okay, then I went to Buyer's Market, which is like that discount store that usually has a lot of stuff. So this was from Target, it's a pillow sham. I just think it's so pretty and we have one extra pillow that we have on our bed that we set in the front. So I thought this little pattern would be so cute on it. It only ended up being about $7, so perfect. I got three colors of nail polish because I realized I don't really have a nail polish collection since moving into my own home. So. I thought I would start it here. They were $3 a piece. Since we're hosting a party on Saturday, I got some cups. So there's these gold sparkly ones and then these silver ones, which were $2 each. And then some white streamers also to decorate for the party. It was only a dollar. And then I have one of these things and I literally love it. It's a ice mold. I got a bunch of them there for only $7.50. So I got it as a bridal shower gift for a bridal shower I'm going to later this month. I got this. So I love, I've used the Kristen S shampoo, but like the orangish bottle and I saw that they had this and I was like, oh, purple shampoo, I'm getting balayage done to my hair today, so I'm gonna need some sort of the type of shampoo for my hair. But then as I was checking out, I remembered that it's blue shampoo for brunettes and purple shampoo for blondes. So now I have this big thing of purple shampoo. I might try it, but I don't know, you guys tell me if that's bad for my hair. Then I got the Shine Enhancing Conditioner, also from Kristen S. They were only $15 there, and I love this stuff, so I got another one of these since I just ran out. Okay, and then that's it from the discount store. Next is TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I got these little cups because I make little coffees to go for myself. If we're ever like, leaving the house to go run errands so that I don't spend money at a coffee shop, I will make my own because I literally have the exact stuff here to make coffee as I do as a coffee shop. And I put it in a to-go cup. So, how cute are these? I'm a sucker for them. They're so cute. Then I got some soap. This super cute bottle for the guest bathroom to go all along with the spring theme in there. Then I got two candles. I couldn't resist. I just love candles so much. I feel like we do go through them pretty fast. Oh, I mean, how can you resist this? How cute with a little bow and it actually smells so good. And it was only $10. I mean, hey, the Bath and Body Works ones are this size and they're like $24. So that's a deal to me. And then I think I literally just showed this kind of candle in a haul last week, but <laughs> I love these candles. Right now they're like at all the home goods, TJ Maxx, everything. It's just this jar. I love the pattern of the jar. And then this one also smells really good. But specifically I have the green one. Let me find it. It's right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so serious. It's like all black on the inside because I kept snuffing out the lid. But it's white tangerine. It's the best smelling candle ever. If you see this at your local TJ Maxx Home Goods, I highly recommend the white tangerine. And the cup is just so cute. So of course I had to get it when I saw pink. Okay, I think that concludes my haul. And then I got us Raising Cane's for dinner on the way home. That was so good. So good. But now I think I'm going to get on my painting clothes and finish painting this door or maybe start on the doors in the guest bedroom. Um, I don't know. I'm also just like shocked at my bangs. Look at that. I don't think I've like ever had bangs, so kind of fun. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is 11 p.m. I just spent the last like four hours painting. I painted the primer on the closet doors in the guest bedroom, the closet doors in the hallway, and then the doors in the other hallway that go into the laundry room. So I got all the primer done on those. And now I need to do the actual paint, but I'm not gonna do that tonight, obviously. I'm so tired. But I think it's good just get that done because we're making progress. It's currently Tuesday and the party's on Saturday and I wanna have most of it done by Saturday. So. Feeling good about that. I also was able to wash that comforter and it's in the dryer right now, so that's a good sign. The washer is not broke, so I'm happy about that. I was so scared that I might have broken the whole thing and I didn't want it to deal with getting a new appliance, but thankfully it's okay, so that's nice. The puppies are ready for bedtime and so am I, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when my dad and I go to Costco. Hi everyone, good morning. It is Wednesday morning and I'm gearing up and getting ready to go to Costco with my dad. I think I look like a whole different person 
these bangs. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go to Costco. I am going to get a bunch of dirt. I think there's like some flower seeds up there that I want to try and get if they have them. Um, and then, you know, just the other things. So I'm excited. I love Costco, even though every time I walk out of there, I'm always spending so much money, but it's a fun journey. So we're going because it's his spring break right now at school and he's not anywhere. Because he's, a, sorry, he's a teacher if you guys don't know. <laughs> um, so he's school off for the week. So we are going to go to Costco. <laughs> All right, we're at Costco. It's going well. It's my cart so far. Of course, I had to stop and look at the grill section. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got back from Costco. I wanted to show you a little haul. We went to Target, Costco, and Dick's. First up is this coloring book. It's so cute, and I've been really wanting to color lately. And, <laughs> oh my gosh. I right, come on. That is so pretty. It's so cute, so whimsical just what I wanted, so that's adorable. So I'm very excited. I wanted to sit down and color, but I have things to do, but maybe later tonight. Then I went in to try and find some makeup brush cleaner like that I could soak my brushes in, but I couldn't find anything. All I found was this stuff that's like daily brush cleaner. So I don't know, I think I'm just gonna look up. I'm sure there's some sort of concoction of different, I don't know, like dish soap and something or vinegar, I don't really know. There's gotta be some chemicals that you can mix to just wash your brushes at home. And then I also got some espresso beans. I went and just got this Target brand because I've been using the Starbucks espresso that you can just buy at home at the grocery store. And for some reason, everything's just tasting burnt. So I'm switching to this one. It's more affordable too, so I'm gonna try it. Because we're having our friends over on Saturday, the next morning everybody likes it when I make coffees for them. So I wanted to make sure I had enough espresso for everyone, but then I also think it'll be really fun if I have the time to make like a little, almost like ordering card. So like laying out all the different syrups and the different milks and types of coffee, like hot or iced, so they can just like circle which and like almost give me like their order form so it's easier because trying to keep track of what everybody wants in the morning is kind of hard. So I think that'll be fun. Um, and then we went to Costco, got some pasta sauce. I've heard some of our families tried this before and they liked it so I wanted to try it. I got honey, we got eight bags of dirt. <laughs> this one smells bad because it like has compost in it so I didn't realize it smelled so gross. And it's not really time to actually plant yet. So it's all out in the extra garage. I have it in there just because it smells so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got this thing. It's like some cut flower bulbs. So it was like $16 for all these different flower bulbs, which I feel like is a really good deal. So I already ordered some online, which they haven't come in yet. Now I think about it. It's like $30 to $40 for a few bulbs. Now that I think about it, I should not have done that, but it's too late now. They're already hopefully coming soon. And then I have these. Um, we also got some other ones for my mom for Mother's Day and they're like pinks and yellows So I'm gonna hold on to these and see if she wants to trade any or, or if she wants some I don't know. They're just not the exact vibes that I was going for But I wanted her to be able to have a variety to pick from when it comes to Mother's Day But I've, I've never used like flower bulbs before so I'm excited. I think that's it. That was I don't know, I got wine. Yeah, I feel like that was mostly it. That was all exciting. That was really fun though. We got up there, my dad picked me up at like 8.45 and we go and go to Costco and they're closed. They don't open until 10. So we're like, oh crap, what are we doing now? So that's why we then went to Target and Dick's. It was really fun though. It was a good time just getting to hang out with him. Now I need to film my spring cleaning video because I'm going to be deep cleaning this whole place and filming it for a spring cleaning video that's hopefully already up because I'm hoping to post it tomorrow. So I really need to kick it into gear. I'm gonna stop this video and start filming that one. So I will see you guys probably at the end of the day when I'm done filming that one. And then we'll do some coloring or we're gonna go to, back to painting doors, I don't know. <laughs> Hi guys, it's much later now. I am vlogging off my phone because I ran out of SD card storage, which is a bummer. Um, but I'm gonna try something new. I just got this new, what's it called? External storage hard drive and it's four terabytes. So got a lot of storage. And I have never before, like I don't back up all my footage onto my hard drives. I know some people, when they import their footage, they then put it on a folder in a hard drive just to keep the storage. So they do that and then they just reuse the same SD card over and over. And I think I need to start doing that because I always lose footage because it's like between, I literally have probably 30 different SD cards, just random, and then I lose the SD cards. And so I'm gonna try actually starting to back it up on my hard drives and organize it all and label the folders and everything so that I don't have to keep buying SD cards, which I will probably have to buy more, these more often, but at least everything will actually be organized or so I say. Um, I'm gonna force myself to though. So I just opened that. 
I'm about to start editing my deep cleaning video that I just filmed because I'm posting it tomorrow. So I need to edit it tonight so that I can post it tomorrow. <sighs> and I'm like literally so exhausted from cleaning. I cleaned for almost six hours straight. So I'm so tired, but the grind doesn't stop. I need to get my video up so that tomorrow during the morning, I can get started on everything for this party that we're having on Saturday. Um, I want to start the garden bed. I need to stain them first though. So I have a bunch of errands. We're gonna do it all together. Like we're gonna go and drop off my clothes and donate them and then go buy some stain. I need to pick up, I need to place a Walmart order and then I need to pick it up at the same time. So there's a lot we have to do. I'm so tired, but it's like 7.30 PM tonight. It's Wednesday still. Um, we're about to make dinner. We're having hamburger helper. So chef of me. <laughs> um, laundry, I just put away three loads and there's still two loads in the washing machine. So, uh, exhausting. But hey, at least we'll be all caught up on laundry before going into the weekend. It's really, feels so clean in here. Like I wiped down the cabinet. We really did deep clean. You guys will just have to go watch the deep cleaning video because it's so satisfying. Yeah, all right, let's get to editing. Happy Wednesday. It is the next day. It's actually at 1 p.m. I've spent the morning editing the video that goes... Wait, it's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. <laughs> Obviously, if I post a video today, it's Thursday. So happy Thursday! Um, anyways, I spent the morning editing the video that went live today because on Thursdays I post videos at 1 p.m. So I just posted that, spent the morning editing it and then making the thumbnail and all that stuff. So now that's done, I have some errands that we're gonna run today. We're gonna go drop off some clothes at a donation center, go to the paint store, go to Walmart and get some groceries and some stuff for the party on Saturday. <laughs> so. I have just, I just have on some comfy clothes, some sweatpants, and a nice little comfy crew neck, and we are gonna get going. We need to leave because these dogs are kind of driving me crazy today. They won't stop barking at the squirrels out in the front yard. <laughs> Okay, I actually got a little distracted. We made a coffee. Um, I've drank a lot of it so far. I was gonna take it on the road with me, but then I realized I still didn't finish my grocery list for the store. So I sat down and I typed out everything that we need to get at the store. So we're planning to make breakfast the morning after the party because we usually have a bunch of people stay the night at our house and it's just so fun. And then I love waking up the next morning and making breakfast. I usually make cinnamon rolls, but I've literally burnt them the last two times. So I think I need to give up on the cinnamon rolls. I'm going to stick with what I know and it's super easy easy breakfast casserole. So we had to make that. I had to plan out some ingredients to make a big mixed drink. I usually make a big pitcher and just set it out and everybody loves it. And then I'm also making puppy chow as like a little dessert. So I had to write out a list for that. And then I also was researching a few things because I realized I wanted to go to the paint store and get some stain for the wood outside. And then I was like, wait, I don't even know how to do stain and I don't know what color I want. But I think I just decided that I'm actually gonna use my leftover paint from a project in my office and paint the garden beds with that so we'll see I'm gonna try that out but I was catching up on Lauren's videos I just caught all up on her latest two that I have missed out on I think I had some packages deliver the dogs were going nuts <laughs> I think that's mostly everything I've done and now it's time we need to go into town and get going on this list because it's a very long list but now hopefully we don't have to go to the paint store and get stained okay I just went and got the package off the front porch oh my gosh I'm so excited too bad I literally just did my spring cleaning yesterday Oh my gosh! Oh, do you like break the Ah, I'm so confused. Wow. I was like, why are all these empty? Did they spill? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So, sorry, this is a PR box. If you guys can't tell, I did not order this. <laughs> you use this concentrate to make multiple different things. So I can make some streak-free window stuff, bathroom cleaner, laundry, detergent, laundry stuff, all purpose, or foaming wash. This is so cool. Thanks Branch Basics if you're watching this. This is awesome. I've never seen such a thing. This is what it's like to be an adult, getting excited over cleaning products. <laughs> Okay, just went and got some of our sirloin steak out of the freezer. You guys don't know we bought a quarter of a cow and so we just have all this steak that we're going through. Um, so I'm putting it out to start to thaw out for dinner tonight. It's already 2.40 p.m. But we're gonna do steak bites with corn and rice for dinner. And now we really need to get going to the store because I keep procrastinating it and I don't want it to get too busy. So let's go. I am so mad at myself right now. <laughs> the 
one reason, not the one reason, but a main reason I wanted to come into town today was to uh, donate those clothes that I'm just sitting in the guest bedroom so they would get out of here before the party. And I forgot the whole bin in the house and I'm already into town, so dang it. <laughs> okay, I wanted to decorate our front porch before the party. Um, so I think I might dilly dally in the little lawn section and see if they have any cute flowers out. I don't know, might be too early. Nothing worse than having to go starting on one side of the store to finish at the other because that's where you parked but then realizing you forgot one thing on the other side so having to go all the way back. Dang Keurig filters, thought they would be with the K-Cups but no, they're with the machines obviously. <laughs> I just made dinner, it looks so good. We've been making our steak bites in the air fryer. You just cut them up and season them and then put them in the air fryer for like six or seven-ish minutes on 400 degrees and they're so good, so easy. It's about 10 p.m. I just spent some time hanging up some things. I hung up two prints out in this hallway and then something in the guest bedroom and then something in the hallway towards the guest bedroom. Feeling so productive. I was supposed to paint the doors tonight, but I did not do that. So that's a tomorrow project. But it's looking so good in here. I'm very excited for the party, but I honestly might go to bed early tonight because I need to catch up on my sleep. So I might shower and go to bed and see you guys in the morning. <laughs> morning it's friday now it's actually 1 30 in the afternoon i put on self tanner this morning and was letting it sit so i did not vlog because i looked horrifying like actually so scary so i didn't vlog but i'll tell you everything i did okay sorry luna decided to do her like two minute drink chug when i brought out the camera <laughs> anyway so i've done a lot so far this morning self tanned and then while i self tanned i started painting so we did the primer a few nights ago so i finally got to putting on the paint so i paint the paint on the hallway doors the bedroom doors and then then half of the other hallway doors so I need to continue that but then I rinsed off the self tan and when I did that then I gave the dogs a bath so they're both nice and squeaky clean made lunch and then I also made a crock pot dinner and it's cooking right now for the rest of the day until dinner time so I always feel so put together and like I have my life together whenever I have a crock pot meal because that means I don't have to cook dinner later because I already did it earlier so yeah I think it's gonna be really good it's like chicken potato green bean garlic I don't even know it's all on TikTok so we're trying it but yeah I've done all that so far and then now we are about to head out because I think we're getting Keegan a new car so we're going to go test drive it and then see how we like it so that's very exciting and we're gonna go do that now Good evening everyone, it's 9 p.m. I don't remember where I just left off, whether I think we might have been just looking at the car. We are going to buy the car, so that's exciting. We're actually gonna go back and pick it up tomorrow and then hopefully go get its plates and everything registered tomorrow, which is just another thing to pack in to this busy weekend. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Currently finishing up painting. I have my paint shirt on once again, um, but I'm also about to start cleaning up the guest bedroom. Keegan went in and swept the both bedrooms, so now I'm going in and carpet cleaning them because they're disgusting. So uh, I like to do this just before we host because a lot of people end up sleeping on the floor. So I just want the carpet to be clean and everything. So about to go do that. And then we need to finish up painting the floor, floors, doors. Gosh, I'm going crazy. I'm exhausted. Don't even get me started on our list for tomorrow. <laughs> I think I've bit off a lot more than I could chew. But I'm determined to get everything done and have the most best day ever tomorrow. So let's finish up tonight's tasks. <laughs> Thanks for your help. 
party day everyone i am once again being extra i just made a little like coffee order forms to hand out tomorrow morning to everyone because everybody always wants coffee from the fancy machine in the morning and i sit there and i try to make them all and i just get overwhelmed because i have to try and remember everyone's orders so i made like a little order form it'll be just like my old barista days where they actually can circle what flavors and everything what type of milk so i'm excited i'm about to print them out kylie and hunter are on their way i just wrote out a list of all the things that we need to finish and do um, separated by the girls and guys because I have them go out and do like the moving the tables and all that stuff so yeah I'm excited I'm gonna brush out my curls I'm just letting them sit while we're here but yeah we're getting a move on I also have been editing this vlog I just caught up to where we're at right now while I'm talking it feels good I didn't realize this was so long hopefully you guys like it you have to let me know how you like the really long vlogs yeah I think I'm about to sweep and mop and then we'll get going along with everything <laughs> Alright guys, we have everything set up and made in advance for once, so it feels amazing. We even have like an hour-ish to spare before people come over, so we're gonna run to the liquor store real quick. We're gonna grab stuff to make like a little mixed shot and then make those, stick them in the fridge so that later we can just bring them out to everyone. Yeah, it's going great. Very thankful for the help today. And I'm very excited to get this party started, so uh, we'll probably see you when people start showing up. Okay. 